I am Matt Redding. Welcome to Introduction to Philosophy 1010. Talk by. That's me. I have a Bachelor's of Arts in Philosophy from the University of Maryland in College Park, Maryland. Let's see. Where to begin? Philosophy is about asking big questions. Where to begin? Philosophy is about asking big questions. Any question really to begin with. So let's start with the most important question we could possibly discuss right now. What is that? Or we could talk about wave functions. If the universe begins at point A, and there are two different things that could happen, U1 and U2. At point B, you will have either U1 or U2. If at point B, from U1 two possible things could happen, U10 and U11, then at point C you will have either U10, U11, or U210 or U21. U20 or U21. So a simulation of the universe could choose to simulate one single branch, or it could just simulate all of them. Why not? It just takes more resources. If the universe began with your choice to go to marry Jim or to marry Bob, then the universe has two branches. The Jim branch or the Bob branch. You get to choose which one you experience. But the moment your conscious mind starts to follow the possibility tree of one direction, then according to Schrodinger's equations, the lesser possibility wave still matters. In fact, the lesser possibility wave branches matter up until the absolute final moment. What moment? Maybe the moment you say I do. Up until that moment, just like in a movie for weddings and a funeral, the deed ain't done yet. Probably the deed ain't done until the wedding night. So right up until the moment you pull the trigger, figuratively or actually, all the possible paths in life that are an alternative are still 100% viable. At the absolute final instant, you choose the universe path of possibility you go down. It pays to wait until that final moment. That is mindfulness. Visit class dismissed. Please subscribe or leave a comment. Thank you. Bozeman Kumish signing off for now. All right, now part two. Perhaps the universe begins with the choice yes universe or no universe. Nothing in the no universe branch, so we follow the yes universe branch. Then the choice of life or no, no life. We follow the life branch. Both branches are simulated though. Then the possibility of humans or no humans. We follow the human branch. Then the possibility of genders. Then the possibility of language. Then your life. Then you have the branch that leads to you becoming president of the United States or not. You have a branch of possibility in your life simulation mm -hmm. map that matches every physically possible outcome of the events of your life. All branches are simulated. You have some control which branch you follow, perhaps mostly by how you set your goals. If you don't ever choose to run for president, then it is far less likely for you to become president. Yet, still perhaps not impossible. If you set any goal, you are telling the universe which branch you want to go down. Does the universe care? That is a very good question. But it seems, according to Schrodinger, all branches are simulated. Which branch you are in, your actual mind that you are experiencing right now, you are perhaps the person most empowered to determine the path you follow. Other people also often try to manipulate or control the branches other people follow. Like trying to get people to buy something or watch something. So it is like a competitive game of universe branch pushing.